What's up YouTubers, it's time for another episode, Analyze and Review. And today guys, we're going to be looking at episode 35 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. And yeah guys, with uh, the last episode ending on quite the traumatic event, Blue Angel losing, this episode is going to be chock full of emotion considering this episode is going to have a lot of Blue, A Blue Angel Lovers just actually in a, just actually full of anger. I don't know if I just, if I explained that well. <laughs> anyway, guys, I didn't know I was um, not happy because it's the first time off with Blue Angel unconscious on the floor, completely destroyed. Well, actually put me in tears. It's just a metaphor. It's just a metaphor. I'm okay, guys. I can breathe. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. After Spectre disappeared, a brother went into the invasion to try and get her back, only to be stopped by Dr. Kon Konami. I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> So yeah, we then had an opening scene, which is still awesome. I love the opening. We then go to play and make it on his way to the Hawaii Tower. But and then of course, both him and I notice that the entirety of Link Reigns is getting absorbed. Even the ground he's starting to tread on is starting to get absorbed by the tower. He then notice the bridge and they decide to cross it. With the huge amount of gaps below, below him and the tap and the bridge being the wide open space, I then suggested he can now create a data storm, which will probably be the best option. But of course, as Playmaker pointed out, that'll be a terrible idea because the tower can absorb it and gain more power. Seriously, I you, did you just forget that the towers absorb turn things into data and absorb it? I'm pretty sure the uh, data storms data anyway so it's going to be quicker to absorb anyway as soon as you splout but as soon as he's as soon as playmaker got about halfway I would say Spectre showed up announcing that he took down Blue Angel without using his full power so yeah guys in the last episode he wasn't even using his full power that was he completely kicked Blue Angel to the curb so easily he didn't even try what this guy is completely dangerous and if he has that kind of power. But I guess his full power is going to be shown within the duel that's going to happen. But before we get to that, we then go back to Dr. Konami and Zaizen talking it out. Talking about um, that, that Dr. Konami, that he worked, they used to work for Soltech and he developed the Ignis. Does that mean he's the creator of the Ignis? That means the entire time he's been trying to get rid of his own programming. He does then go on to talk, talk about that Soltech um, was helping him develop the Ignis and they found it as like a source of money. Or, this is actually the clever thing I like. He, he, he used a specific word which I fell in love with. That he, that they, he learned that Soltech found a way to monopolize it. Monopoly! Monopolize it! Seriously? That's my word of the day now. That's monopoly. Monopolize. We monopolize this thing. That's my favorite word. Oh my god, I love that word. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh boy. So, the, because um, he didn't want to it to be uh, monopolized. They want English to be monopolized. Oh my god. <laughs> Soltag uh, decided to infect him with a type of virus and he got Soltag to think he was dead. But around that time, but in actuality, his son removed the virus and recreated his mind within the network. That's actually pretty clever. Really, so his body, I don't know, We've seen his body within the episodes. His body is technically still alive, but I guess it's alive for the mind. I honestly don't know what to make of it. It's a bit confusing. 
So yeah, that's gonna. So what is actually going on with his body? Because we might learn sooner or later. Maybe his body's still alive to keep his mind going, but since it's now digitalized, um, I really would see the body being useless now since his mind's in the net the network. But I guess it's linked to the network. I guess so that way he can like run off his memories. Probably. That's the only idea I can think of. This is turning into Sword Art Online. Oh my god, we got to. Um, Aki. This is the exact same thing that Akihiba Kaiba did in Sword Art Online. He turned himself digital. It, it, I, I swear, they're taking the plot from Sword Art Online from this. It, it, it's time to feel like it. Anyway, we then go on to Spectre uh, starting off his turn. Doing the same thing he basically did on the first turn against Blue Angel. Which is basically throwing out Sun, C, Genesis, Loki, using it to link someone, Sun, Dial, Dias, and then set a card. But then, Playmaker decides to ask him a question. Why do you fight for Revolver? But of course, there's that's a whole huge mess. Because that one question led to a huge discovery. Spectre is one of the kids that got adopted alongside Yusaku all those years ago. Spectre of all people! He's an adopted person, so why would he fight alongside Nereza Haoi that did this to him? We learned that his childhood was an isolated one. He always stuck to himself. He never really chatted to anyone, so, was, so he liked being himself. While he was abducted, he enjoyed it. He enjoys not being able to talk to anyone. What kind of messed up kid is this? I feel sorry for the kid. He's, he doesn't know the joys of being around friends. He doesn't know the joy of hanging out with them. He doesn't know that joy seriously. I feel sorry for the guy. And yeah, he enjoys being an isolated. When he was free, he wanted to go back to it. Dude, seriously. That is messed up. And of course, it did affect player maker that he enjoyed it. That he was surprised that he actually faced someone who got adopted. If it wasn't for I snapped him out, we would be stunned. But of course, player maker really went on a rampage in return. He, he decided to go to as much as he can. Uh, he starts off his turn by using the effect of Beach Lopper. By sending a level 2 alarm monster in his hand, he can special summon it. So he sends the level 1, le let's see, I probably pronounced that wrong. To special summon a Beat Long. And then he used Bit Long to link someone out, Link Disciple. Then he special summons out Link into Fly. Since there was a Link monster on the field, he special summoned it. And then he uses that to Link summon Link, Devo Link Devote. -y. And then, since he was special, since he was special summon, player maker cannot Link summon Link three or higher Link monsters for the rest of the turn. So no deco tokens, and he's down to only Link ones or Link twos. So that, so of course, that's not going to stop him. This is our player maker we're talking about. He then activates Link Disciple's effect. Once per turn, he contributes a monster, monster Link Disciple's point to to draw a new card. And then place one card in his hand to the bottom of his deck. Playmaker then activates Link Devote's effect. Since it was tributed, it can, it, it can then special summon two Link tokens. Then he gnaws someone's Cyber's Gadget. And then activates effect. And while it was normal, so the player maker can special summon a level 2 or low or monster from his graveyard, but it's effects in the game. So it brings back Lattery, the card he disguised, disguised to use Big Lopper. He then um, uses Lattery and Cyber's gadget to link someone out, Binary Sorcerer. He then uses. And then since. Uh, I've lost my place, guys, <laughs> give me a second. Since it was, since Link's disciple was sent to the grave, appeals to the grave, a playmaker activates the effect of Cyber's gadget. 
allow the expression to summon out one gadget token in his, onto his field. Then he uses the gadget token and link the sight bolt to link summon out multi string hammer. He then uses brain resource. Uh, oh, sorry, no, he connects his brain resource. <laughs> he then uses two link to the last two tokens on two link tokens on his field to link someone out Brainery Ballader. So yeah, his field is completely set up with loads of link two monsters that are about that are linked together, guys. This is gonna get awesome. He was linked someone like bonkers. I think he linked someone about five times. Even I haven't even managed to do that yet. He then attacks with Brainery Saucer. However, it could. However, remember the tree cannot be attacked, so it was a direct attack. However, the Spectre received damage. He activated the effect of Sundial Dias, allowing him to call, instantly call out a Link monster, a Sundial Link monster. Depending on the damage, I would say that that needs more balance. So he called out Sundial Dias. Oh no, wait, sorry, no, he sums it out near the hour of some of the dice has got. He sums out some vile gardener and then he gains the life points equal to the damage he took. So he got basically no damage. And then, add more to the story. Afterwards, we had him talk about why he likes his tree cards. We basically now know why he's got a big massive tree for a boss monster. Because it was raised by a tree. Yeah, you heard me. He was raised by a blinking tree. This tree protected him from natural disasters. This tree protected him from wild animals. While growing up, what the flip? He was a baby in the tree to all this. I'm pretty sure he was imagining an entire thing. At last time I checked, a tree cannot just go whoosh, branch down there, protect the child, whoosh, branch goes back up. Oh my god. What is going on? This dude is seriously therapy. Oh my god, is this tree was basically his mother? What? 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 This dude really needs therapy. It's only home more though when he came back from being abducted and his tree was cut down. Honestly, guys. I'm so annoyed at that fact. A tree. Is it a tree? Playmaker, kick his ass, kick his butt, burn that tree, do something to that tree and get rid of it, get, get, get it gone. He needs to be free, what the on earth? I also don't know what to make of this, guys. <laughs> when that happened in the episode, I was like, what the Look, that is not normal. That is completely not normal. That is... Uh, I've never really heard anything more stupid than that. A tree. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, guys, before I really go ranting about it. Uh, okay, I don't know why this episode didn't really lit hook me in as much. Um, I did like the fact that... Um, that they didn't just instantly decide to manage I gave up, I gave up, at least they gave us some fan service for with just a line there. <laughs> the duel was pretty intense. I do like the fact that there was five link summons. But um, it's this story. I feel like there's a real lot of holes in there. I like the fact that they made it, made Spectre a survivor like Yusaku, but honestly, what is going on? The rest of the story doesn't really make any sense. I like how where they were trying to go with it. It was like a lone wolf and um, got picked up by Revolver. He saw Revolver's van. He devoted his life to him. But I really don't see how he devoted his life to it. There's still some holes in his story. Like, what did Revolver do to actually get him to like him? Because there was nothing like that in the story. Did he, he, honestly, what story he's told is he just appeared out of nowhere. So there's a hole in the story somewhere. We need that hole filled. I, I, don't, I can't accept that story at the moment. It, there has to be more. There, there should be more. I don't see Lonely Tree Boy 
Buy, buy a revolver and instantly become you're my master. There's something missing. But this episode did give us something epic. This give us some epic moments, some epic information. It it has to be a four card so five at the moment. That's the highest I'm gonna give. I'm not gonna give it five. I can't give it three. That won't do it justice. I'm not giving it the fifth, just because of Spectre's story. It feels like it's missing a lot of things. And just for a brand new episode, it doesn't feel right. I don't even know if we're going to continue on with Spectre's story in the next episode. That's why it's going to be four. Who knows? Who knows what happens in the next episode, guys? I actually skipped the preview because that true story just couldn't take it. But yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. I'm now going to go wash my brain of that thought of being raised by the tree. What the flip was wrong with him? So until next time, guys, this is me signing out. Bye-bye.